Morning guys. Um, Captain Mode, I want to fly the Anaconda. It's got a good speed of uh, 360 meters a second. So the guys are deep scouting, let me just focus here. The gunship, I don't like it, I prefer an easy. Those gunships are soft, you know, they uh, can survive maybe one assault. But if the enemy are smart and they keep coming, there is no way, zero chance. If the enemy are smart, if you're playing against good players um, and they want to kill you and you're a gunship captain, you will die. Uh, this is something that people don't understand. Choosing a gunship as captain, people do it because they think you get more damage as captain and a gunship is good with damage. Yes, sure. But if three guys are jumping you and you're in a gunship, there's nothing you can do. A gunship is, is dead space. Uh, it's dead debris. If it doesn't have, uh, you know, all the support in the world and it doesn't move, gunships are generally not good ships for captain. If you're very careful and you know exactly what you're doing, but everyone thinks they know exactly what they're doing. But uh, general rule, gunships are fucking horrible captains. I'm sorry. I've just not seen a gunship in a tight game win. Every time you've got two good teams, two balanced teams. The team with a gunship captain loses every time. Balanced teams, gunship captain loses every time. Just gonna stay close to this captain. I'm focusing on shooting. I'm playing a bit of a sticks game now. That's because my captain is relatively st uh, static, so I'm keeping an eye on him. The whole thing about Yes, here we go. About the Anaconda is that it's nice and maneuverable, it can be wherever it has to be. Uh, if you've got a team full of interceptors and fighters, the Anaconda is the engineer you want to come in with. You just have to be very smart about staying off of enemy radar. What people don't realize is that survival is as much about the psychology as, uh, as it is about this skill thing that everyone keeps talking about. Everyone keeps talking about the skill thing, skill thing, skill thing. But I'm just always frustrated that, to me, it looks like everyone refuses to play the game team-oriented. It's like everyone knows exactly, but no one really plays the team. Everyone's idea of how to play the game does not include playing the team for some reason. If you look at my stats, my stats don't look good, but I'm a team player. And I've been forcing myself to play the team, and that's the kind of player I am. And, uh, I noticed that people are starting to play this game a lot better in general nowadays. Uh, I see a real, a real rise in the average skill level, which is very good. Uh, these game, the quality of these games are getting much, much better than they used to be uh, just a month or two ago. But look at me, I'm the Anaconda. See my captain in trouble? I fly closer. Uh, let me not. Let's just focus on the Anaconda. The Anaconda is the star here. Yeah. Anaconda is a lovely ship. Nice and maneuverable. You just have to... Whoa! Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's why the gunship is a bad choice. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. This is just another game that looks like that. Everyone thinks they're special. Everyone thinks they will survive in the gunship. Everyone is special. But let me tell you guys... Not the best players in the game, I see them making the exact same mistake. Uh, one of the guys in my corporation, I had a fight with him over the gunship. He's like, no man, gunship's like the best ship for this. I tell him, yeah, if you're fighting against noobs, if you get up against a good squad, they're going to kill you without winking. A good squad kills a gunship without an issue. If you're an exceptional player, maybe you're a gunship captain, maybe. If you're an exceptional player, you know exactly what you're doing and you're very careful. But there's the thing, your careful has to be the basis. As soon as you start taking damage, you run, you run, you use your escape mechanisms just to get away. Now let's have a look at this. Gunship, gunship, command ship. There's one tackler at least, one tackler. But we need an ECM, not a tackler. For big things, you need an ECM. Tacklers are good for small things. Recon, guard ship. Well, the guard ship was, was the best choice here. It's just a shame he wasn't a lot more useful. If he was next to me, uh, beer, he's probably drunk. Seaman. Seaman M72, yes. Seaman. 
So you can just, uh, you know, check the team here. We've got a gunship, a gunship, a command ship, a attacker, the bot, you know, the bot. Uh, the bot had some pretty decent ships. Covered off didn't work, so he went to attack there, went to an engineer. That's good. Well done, bot. Recon doesn't do a damn thing. Blokey, well, Blokey didn't do a damn thing. Blokey didn't do a damn thing. This was actually a, a pretty fun game for some reason. But I mean, look at this. Look at this. The engineer, the, the support role. The support role is second on the fucking list. That's what's ridiculous. And the support role on, on the losing side is better than most of the bastards on that side. But let's look at the bosses on that side. There's a long range, there's a COVID ops. All the damage ships. People want to play the damage ships, but nah. Too many, too many.